Hi there! Welcome to the Chit Chat Show, the show where you get to know our special guests. As it is our very first show, we have invited someone very special. It's Sugar Baby! There's been so much scandal surrounding her life recently. <laughs> but what can you do when you're as famous as her, right? But today, she's asked to come in to talk with us to set the record straight. Once and for all. Everybody please welcome Sugar Baby! Welcome to our show, Sugar Baby. First off, I'd like to talk to you about how you have had more names than P. Diddy and Snoop Lion combined. How many names do you go by now? <laughs> Around 61. Wow, that is a lot of names. You've managed to sneak your way onto nutrition labels without anyone knowing for years. <laughs> exactly, I just like to be like everyone else. I don't want people to see me as just sugar. I'm so much deeper than that. <laughs> well, well, sugar baby. Tell us a little bit about your most infamous relationship with Da Brain. <laughs> well, that was such an intense relationship. He was practically a stalker. We just kept getting back together after breaking up, and every time that we did, he would just release so much dopamine. There was no reducing the amount. He just kept producing more and more every time we were together. I mean, that can't be good for anyone, right? If you ask him, it's not like I'm as bad as drugs, but I did keep him craving for more. It was like he needed me, like he was addicted. Wow, you really had an effect on him. Yeah, it kind of affected his brother Mood as well. I think Mood was affected by all the dopamine that Brain would release. He just got out of rehab from all the alcohol he was drinking, and my relationship with Brain sent him over the edge. I mean, at first he was totally fine. He was so happy he was practically manic. But after a while, his blood sugar level was raised so fast that when it was dropped, he was just insanely jittery and anxious all the time. He kept calling me sugar crash. How rude, right? But I heard that when I'm not around, he's totally balanced and normal. But who knows, and who cares? Right. Let's talk about your childhood sweetheart, Teeth. All parents were totally against it all the time, right? Did that make you feel bad? No, it's not my fault. Teeth's friends, the Cavities, loved me so much. And being around me just made them grow and spread out. That's not my fault. I can't help being amazing. You also had some beef with skin a while back there, didn't you? What happened there? <laughs> oh my god, I swear, I didn't want anything to do with her. I was just chilling with my friends, proteins, and making advanced glycation end products, or AGE, in bloodstreams. And that bitch just came rolling in accusing me of ruining her looks. She said that AGE is giving her wrinkles. <laughs> I mean, there has, okay, been some scientific proof of that. But she don't know. Joke's on her. I just kept making more so that bitch could suffer in her wrinkles. Uh, well, that is very interesting. But I think everyone has tuned in today because we all want to hear about your love triangle with P. Pancreas and La Liver. Oh my god, this was so much drama. Okay, as you know, P. Pancreas hustles to make insulin when I'm around, which insulin is what tells the cells that the blood sugar levels is low and to use me as energy. Your cells need me for energy, obviously. But if you already have more of me than your body needs, well, insulin also tells the body to store the energy with la liver for future use. And then, it got messy. There was so much of me in his life that P. Pancreas had to hustle harder to make so much insulin for longer periods of time to cope with me. Yeah, he eventually broke down. Type 1 diabetes comes from P. Pancreas completely losing the ability to produce insulin. Type 2 diabetes comes from the cells of the body partially or fully losing their ability to use insulin. Either way, it wasn't pretty. Wow, that is really insane and very technical. We're glad you're here to help explain that to us. But what about la liver? As I mentioned before, when there is a lot of me in your body, insulin sends me to la liver, who turns me into glycogen to be stored there. But most people already have a pretty full storage of glycogen in their livers. So if there are still more of me, then I'm turned into fat, fat, 
fat, and more fat. <gasps> this is where non-alcoholic fatty liver disease comes from, you know? <laughs> I am such a heartbreaker. No, seriously, I can literally break hearts. With non-alcoholic fatty liver disease comes a huge risk of heart disease. I can also raise blood pressure and increase chronic inflammation, which can also lead you straight to heart diseases. Weight gain, diabetes, they're all linked to an increased risk of heart attacks and strokes. <laughs> Do I really need to say more? So, you're saying that none of these failed relationships were your fault? No, of course not. I mean, okay, wait, sometimes I sneak into foods and people don't know that I'm there. Okay, maybe that's slightly... You know what? That's not my fault either, because I'm right there on the label. Look, the thing is, you need me. Yeah, but actually, I'm already in so many different types of foods that contain carbohydrates, such as fruits and vegetables, grains and dairy. If you take me while you're eating, your body has time to process and digest the food and slowly give the body a steady supply of energy to your cells. But all that added sugars, like cakes and cookies and candies and chocolates and chips and donuts and sugary drinks like cola and lemonades and coffee and tea and even fruit juices and smoothies, well, they give your body an intense amount of sugar in one go. Like everything else in life, if I'm taken in moderation, there would be very little chances of me having catastrophic relationships with your organs. It's all about being aware of what you're eating. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm here today. Now that you know that my presence drives the brain into creating excessive dopamine, now you know it's not just because I look and taste yummy. Your body actually gets addicted, and it has to work so much harder when I'm around. <laughs> Don't hate the player, hate the game. Wow, sugar baby, we've learned so much about your relationships today. Thank you so much for coming in and setting the record straight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in to the Chit Chat Show, where we get to know our special guests. Is there someone you would like us to interview? Well, let us know in the comments below, and we will have our people contact their people. Thank you very much, and we're out!